another enormous, gigantic, stupendous Sign Pete's. Big Bible Bits! Wow! Yes, it's big, it has bits in it, and it's from the Bible. Oh yeah! Now, Peter, um, you like stories, don't oh, you? Oh, I love a good story. Especially the ones with pictures. And three words. Yes, well this one is a great story. Yeah? It's from the Bible. Ooh! Yes, and it's about a man called Noah. Mm. Yeah, great guy, very old, big beard, long hair, big eyebrows. But, he was friends with God. Really good friends. And he would listen to God, and God would talk to him, and one day, God said to Noah, I want you to build a great big sponge. Uh, no, not sponge, a uh, boat. Right. A uh, boat made of wood. Okay. Because God was sad because all the people in the world were being mean and nasty. Mm. So he wanted to save Noah and his family and all the animals in a great big sponge. Boat. Peter, boat. Yes. Boat. Yeah. Ship. Well, it's called an ark. Great big thing. So, Noah listened to God and said, OK, God, I will do as you ask. So Noah started building a great big sponge boat. And God said, inside the boat, I want two of every sponge. <sighs> two of every animal. Oh. Like little animals, like yeah. creepy crawlies, stink mm -hmm. insects, birds, Very nice. chickens. Two of every animal in the ark. So Noah said, OK, that's a big job. That's lots of animals to collect. Loads of them. So him and his wife and his sons were off collecting the animals and put them inside the great big Sponge. boat. It's a boat. Okay. It's an ark. It's a big wooden vessel that goes on water. Anyway, so he gets all the animals inside the ark. Sponge. Car. And they closed the door. Sponge. They closed the door. It's a door. Stop saying sponge. I'm telling a story. OK, they closed the door. Right. Then, all of a sudden, it started sponging. No, it's sponging. It started raining. Water, like from the sky oh. to the floor. Rain. Pitter patter, pitter patter. Sponging. So, anyway, where was I? It started sponging. Raining. And Noah and his ark started sailing up and down on the water. Now, they were there for 40 days and 40 nights. That's a long time to be in a boat with animals. Would have been a bit smelly, Woo! a bit noisy. Lots of animals would have had little kind of chats together. The kangaroos might have spoken with the hippos, maybe. The stick insects would have hung out with the, I don't know. Who knows? Armadillos. Great. But 40 days and 40 nights, a long time. So, at the end of the 40 days and 40 nights, Noah might have caught two fish in that time. Why two? He only had two worms. <laughs> anyway, so uh, 40 days and 40 nights, long time. The rain stops. <laughs> Noah's like, this is cool. So he opens the window and gets a beautiful sponge. No, it's not a sponge. It was a raven. It was a bird, not a sponge. Oh. Listen, this is an important story I'm telling you about right. Noah listening yes. to God in heaven, building out animals in the ark, rain coming down, birds Sponging. finding leaves and twigs and rainbows saying God won't flood the. Earth again, and you're just saying sponge all the time. Why are you saying just sponge? Because, Simon... You're not listening to my story. I've been story. trying to tell you that there's a sponge on your back. That was so ridiculous. There's no sponge on my back. Simon, there is a sponge there on isn't. your... There is! Listen, I walked here... Yes, sir. Uh, ...Big Bible Bits office this morning... Yeah. ...down the street... Yep. Yeah. ...and I passed lots of people, and you know what they said? What did they say, Simon? Nothing. Nothing! Because no. they're probably very polite, but they... there's a sponge on your back! Well, there isn't. They'd... I'd have known. I'd have, I'd have I'll tell you what, I'll make you a deal. Okay. Okay. If there's a sponge on your back, yep. you have to kiss that plant. Okay. If there isn't a sponge on your back, you have to kiss that plant. Have okay. we got a deal? Uh, yeah. Oh, and I get the lollipops. Right, so if there's a sponge on my back, yep. if there is a sponge, I kiss the plant. Yeah. You have the lollipops. Yeah. And if there isn't a sponge on my back, mm -hmm. I kiss the plant. Yep. And you have the lollipops. Yeah. Okay, I think that's a deal. That's a good deal. Okay, right. Okay. So, as you will see, Peter, you will lose at this game. Turn around. Look, see, there's nothing on my back. There's no sponge on my back. Because I am a Simon. sensible, mature, grown up person who had a sponge on his back. Now, Peter, how long is that? Have, did, you, did you put this on when I went? Did... So, I've had this on my back all along. Yep. I tried to tell you so when I kept saying sponge and you wouldn't listen, you were too telling your story too much and... So, you saying sponge yeah. was you trying to tell me I had this on my back? Yeah! And I wasn't listening? Yeah! Oh. Hmm. Which is quite ironic really, because you were telling a story about listening. I was. 
And you weren't listening. I wasn't. But what would have happened if Noah didn't listen to God? He might have had a sponge on his back. Or got wet. Probably that one. Yeah. So, I should have listened to you and yeah. I wouldn't have been embarrassed now and yeah. had a sponge on my back the whole day. Yeah, so I should listen to you. Yeah. I should listen to you yeah. and we should all listen to God, God, just like Noah did. You know, I've got a brilliant Bible verse. Okay, If we great. go to Proverbs 12. Is that about sponges? Yeah. Verse 15. Okay. Fools think they are doing right, but the wise listen to advice. Okay. So if we want to be wise, we have to listen to advice, listen to what we've got to say, and most importantly, listen to what God has to say. And that's because God is amazing. Yeah. He's our friend. He loves us and you very much. And he wants to tell us stuff and talk to us. And if we listen to him, we can hear what he says. So, Peter, I'm going to listen to you more. You're going to listen to me. Yeah. And we're all going to listen to God because he's amazing and he's our friend. Woohoo! Fantastic. Oh. Right, on that note. Big Bible Bits. The All-Star Kids Club. New for 2015. So, what is it? Well, the All-Star Kids Club is a new Christian club for children all over the world. So whether you're in England, America, Australia, Finland, Germany, or the Arctic, it's open to you. For a small annual cost, you will get loads of awesome stuff to help encourage and inspire you as you live your life for Jesus. You will get magazines sent to your door through the year, cool online videos, free music every month, exclusive competitions, weekly email devotions, membership cards, news of special events, opportunities to feature in our TV shows, and lots more. So if you're aged 7 to 11 and love Jesus, this is an awesome kids club for you. We can't wait to welcome you aboard. Find out more at www.allstarkidsclub.com. Groove, out now, from the awesome Sean W. Smith. Groove is the biggest and best album yet from Australia's new number one Christian children's songwriter, Sean W. Smith. Packed with 13 grooving songs for kids. Sean's rocking dance anthem, Shine, the very catchy JC Workout, and the hilarious Stop and Listen to Your Mum will have the whole family on their feet celebrating the good news of God's great love. Also featuring special guest artist, Yancey. To find out more and get your copy, visit W www.allstarskidsclub.com Big Bible Bits Hello and welcome back to the show. Hello, welcome back. It's been a crazy day, Simon. It's been one of those days, Peter. What's happened? I've had a sponge on my back for most of the show. And I couldn't help but remind you that you had a sponge on your back by going sponge! You did! Sponge! You did! Sponges! Yes, Sponging. you did! Sponging! Yes, you did! And, and uh, yeah, just to clarify, uh, Noah didn't build a great big sponge. He built a great big ark, didn't he, Simon? He did, with two of every sponges inside. Or was it animal? Uh, it was animal. Oh, yes. it was animal, great. There we go. Yes. Excellent. Yeah. Well, you know what? It's a good story because uh, it helped me understand and to learn to listen more to you. Yeah, and me to listen to you. And how important it is to listen to God. Yeah, because what would have happened if Noah didn't listen to God? He might have had a sponge on his back. Yeah, or maybe got wet. He's got wet, yes. 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 So, uh, Pete, do you think we should recap on the Bible verse yeah, today? I think it was a great Bible verse, Simon. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 15. And there it said, Fools think they are doing right, but the wise listen to advice. Shall I read that once more, Simon? You do that. Fools think they are doing right, but the wise listen to advice. Fantastic. You know what I think would be good to do now? Yeah. Is I'm going to say a prayer. That would be brilliant, Simon. So yes. we're going to close our eyes. And if yeah. you at home want to close your eyes and pray too, that would be fantastic. So dear God, thank you for today. Thank mm. you that you love us. And please help us to listen to you more because you have so much to show us and tell us. And help us to listen to each other as well. And thank you, God. You are an amazing, faithful, loving God and our friend. Amen. 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 Big Bible Bits. Hello, kids, and welcome back to another edition of the Little Big Game Show with me, your host, Mr. Svenna Roonings. Everybody say a hello back. Hello, hello back. back. This is the Petey. Say hello, Petey. Hi. This is Simon. Hello. That's lovely to have you here with us, boys. It's lovely to have you too. Davey, on the cameraman, give him a little wavy. Ooh. 
Hello. Boys, give him a wave. He's doing such a good job now. You boys and girls know at home what the game is. We play a false and a true. I ask the boys a question and we find out whether it's true or false. Today's question, if you like it very much, is yep. about animals. Now, we're not going to take time to boil a kettle over this, so let's get straight into the game. Boys, get your hands over the buzzers and ready. Oh, yeah. they're so efficient. It's very good. Here comes the question. Are you ready for this question, boys and girls? You're joining with me now. The question is, true or false, African elephants... Elef... Ele help me there. Elephants. Elephants. Oh, they only have four teeth. True or false? <laughs> Oh, Simon, he buzzing really quick. That means you get, what is your answer, Simon? True. He say true. Pete, false. You gotta have false. This is very tense. Now I'm gonna find out, kids, on the screen. What do you get? What is it? Is it? It's true. That means that Simon is the winner. Pete, I'm so sorry this time. You get the tissues, because we miss you. And uh, this is the banana. We all love the banana. I don't know why, just take it. Pete, that's good. Simon, let's find out what you could have won. You could have won. A hi-fi with speakers as big as your house. Ooh. And you could have won, oh my goodness, a cassette and mini floppy disk. Do you like that? I love it. You can't have it. But what you can have is two plastic cups and a piece of string. Wow. That's it. That's the game. That's it. We're done. Everybody say hello back at home and goodbye. Hello back. And goodbye. The Bible Bits. On this week's Bible Bits, we learned a special thing. It was all about a sponge and listen, ning, ning, ning. And God is our friend and he loves us very much. So don't forget your Bible Bits. One more time! On this week's Bible Bits, we learned a special thing. It was all about a sponge and listen, ning, 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 ning. And God is our friend, he loves us very much. So don't forget your Bible Bits. What was that, Peter? Don't forget your Bible bits. Up, don't, don't forget, forget your Bible bits. Don't forget your Bible bits.